North Korea held its parliamentary meeting on Sunday. There was no particular message regarding nuclear negotiations, but the regime finalized its lineup of key foreign affairs figures and announced plans to hike budget for economic construction as well as public health. Wu Zhengyi has the highlights from that session. Two days later than originally scheduled, North Korea held its rubber stamp parliamentary meeting on Sunday. Pyongyang's Korean Central News Agency reported Monday that the regime's number two leader and the chairman of the parliament's presidium, Choi Jung hae chaired Sunday's Supreme People's Assembly session. Kim Jong un was not present. There was no explanation for the delay, but Seoul's Unification Ministry suggested that the North could have postponed the meeting due to unspecified political scheduling. At the meeting, the North elected five new members for its State Affairs Commission, the top decision-making body headed directly by Kim Jong-un. One of them is Ri sung the North's newly elected foreign minister who had previously dealt with inter-Korean affairs. Others include Ri byung chul who spearheaded the North's arms development, and Defense Minister Kim Jong-un. The development shows will be the key foreign affairs officials in the regime. But despite the reshuffle, there was no particular message towards the United States about denuclearization talks stalled since their summit in Hanoi last year. Amid the global economic slowdown over the coronavirus pandemic and still firm international sanctions, North Korea is raising its budget for economic development by 6 percent. Spending for the regime's metal, coal, rail and other industries will also see a hike of over 7 percent. North Korea also increased its public health expenditure by 7.4 percent, which reflects its recent antivirus efforts. Wu Zhongyi, Arirang News.